That was your sixth submission win, if I'm not mistaken. How did it feel to get in there and finish the fight? Uh, just every fight's, you know, you've got the time limit. That's a 15-minute fight, so I'm prepared for 15 minutes of hell. And I was quite surprised when he was tapping. I didn't have the, the submission in deep like I'm used to having it, but it was felt really, really good to feel him tap, you know, and I was just like, I was kind of for a loss of words, like, holy heck, this is the UFC. I just submitted a guy, and, you know, family and friends are all around. It was, it was a surreal experience. I don't think it's really set in yet, so. You've actually taken this fight on very short notice. What was it like for you to get on course to be able to train, prepare for this for a huge moment in your fight career? It, it was it was difficult. I mean, I'm a full time teacher, um, a full time wrestling coach, so I mean, my, my schedule is pretty pretty locked out, you know. But I talked to everybody, you know, from my from my. Um, administration to my wrestling coaches and stuff like that and they're like hey man this is a once in a lifetime opportunity take full advantage of it take the time off that you need and I just went right back to work we just got out of a 10-week camp took about a month and a half off we had a fight about a month ago so I mean it wasn't like I was horribly out of shape but I was nice fat and happy you know working out a few days a week but nothing consistent for a fight camp and um, yeah but the opportunity presented itself and I was like hey I'm not I'm not, may not ever get this again so I need to jump on it and uh, it kind of sucked in the way ins you know we didn't we didn't make weight we we're off about, about a pound and a half but um, I mean, like, I apologize to my opponent. I apologize to Dana and everybody. It's never going to happen again. I have the capability of making the weight. My last weigh-in, I weighed in at 23, so I know that I can make the weight. I just think the time factor was a big, big influence on that. Did he get in your face at the weigh-ins? Um, no, he was just like, hey, let's get that bonus. Let's fight hard. Let's, let's get that fight of the night bonus. And I agree with him, you know, and that was my one concern was, like, they're like because you didn't make weight, we, you, don't, you can't get one of the bonuses. I was like, does that take away from him? Does he not be able to get it if we do get fight of the night? They're like, no, no, he shall get it if, if you guys get that. I was like, all right, that was my one concern. I mean, I'll take the, the pay cut or whatever, you know, that's on me that's my responsibility but I don't want it to affect him like that so are you trying to get back in there right away or are you gonna take some time off uh, I, dude I don't know it all depends on the fight the scenario I mean definitely I'd like to get right back at it but with school and everything hopefully we can work something out to where I'll be able to because I can't really pay my bills off of what I make fighting right now you know so I still got like 40 grand in student debt but I mean maybe a fight of the night bonus would help pay that off but you know like I didn't make weight so that kind of affects that but I mean I, I would say another month and a half maybe jump right back in there get right back at it I enjoy this way too much this is too much fun so definitely would like to get back at it and how do you think you stack up against everyone else in the division I mean I know Ryan Benoit was a very very game opponent very very tough um, but I want some of the top dudes uh, like I was talking to Ariel Hawani I want him a call and that's one fight that I would love to have no disrespect for the guy I love love the, his style the way he fights I think that me and him would put on an awesome show and I want to fight him for his mustache you know what I mean I want that to be written in the contract loser shaves it off in the cage I'll save that thing in a Ziploc baggie for the rest of my fight career I think that'd be something cool to have and being part of the flyweight division, I mean, it's one of the newest for the men's. Uh, what What is your thoughts on coming into that division and trying to make an impact right away like you did here in this fight? I think that with it being so new and so small, I think that some of us can make a big splash real fast and make a run at the title. I mean, I ran into Benavides, and he's always saying, hey, they need to make a, the, the division deeper. And he was, like, ecstatic. I saw him, you know, we are cutting weight, and I'm all sucked up. And I was like, hey, man, it's nice to finally meet you. And he's like, dude, I'm stoked they're signing more people because then it gives us more fights and more competition. So I think that if I get the right fights against the right people I can make a splash real fast and a little bit ago we were talking a bit off camera here and you were telling me how you have a different job back home and the different things that you do to be able to sustain living while fighting uh, tell the fans here what is it that you do on, on the side I'm a high school biology teacher and I'm a full-time wrestling coach so I do that and that pays the bills and keeps me going that's my fallback plan is to, to teach in, uh, in, the, in the education realm I just got my master's degree last May and I took a little hiatus off of fighting from uh, to finish that finish grad school up so uh, yeah that's my fallback plan when I can't fight anymore which is I'm thinking I probably got another seven eight years of fighting that's gonna I'm gonna be a teacher so I'm gonna do that until until I can't do it anymore so and you'll be able to get some Thanksgiving in now <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully I can get a little bit of turkey in but I mean that's that's surpass I mean I just want a little bit of food or something something delicious I'm looking for some cheesesteak or some uh, um, cheesecake I'm sorry cheesecake I can't okay. speak right now cheesecake sounds real good right now Excellent. Well, thank you so much for thank your time you. appreciate, it, guys. appreciate it